Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at billing account types. So there are two types of cloud billing accounts. We got self-serve or online accounts. Payment instrument is a credit or debit card, uh, ACH uh, direct uh, debit, depending on the availability in each re a country or region. Costs are charged automatically to the payment instrument connected to the cloud billing account. You can sign up for self-serve accounts online. Uh, the documents generated for the self-serve account include statements, payment receipts, tax invoices that are accessible to Google Cloud Console. Then you have invoice or offline accounts. So payment instrument can be a check or wire transfer. Invoices are sent by mail or electronically. Invoices are also accessible in the Cloud Console as are payment receipts. You must be eligible for invoice billing and you can learn more about it somewhere in the documentation. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know, I don't remember seeing whether AWS or Azure had that, but it's cool that you can do that kind of offline method. For payment profile types, there's two as well. We got individual, so uh, you're using your account for your own personal payments. If you register your payment profile as an individual, then you can only manage the profile. You won't be able to add or remove users or change permissions on the profile. And then we have business. You are paying on behalf of a business, organization, partnership, or educational institution. Uh, you use Google Payment Center to pay for uh, play apps, games, Google services like Google Ads, Google Cloud, Fi Phone service. A business profile allows you to add other users to a Google Payment profile you manage so that uh, more than one person can access or manage payment profiles. All users added to a business profile can see the payment information on that profile. So there you go.